Cancer and radiation are two of the things that I had never imagined I would have to deal with. Uh, many people in my family had had cancer, uh, so I was very careful about getting tested. And I think when I actually was diagnosed, it, it just threw me. I mean, it really threw me. I just happened to pinch my neck one day and under my thumb felt this large lump. And the large lump uh, alarmed me. I went to a doctor, my internist, the next day. She sent me to a uh, needle biopsy. And uh, I had, within three days, knew that I had uh, some sort of uh, squamous cell carcinoma of the throat. I had breast cancer nine years ago. I went through chemotherapy, I went through radiation, and I'm still here nine years later. And uh, I live my life as if I'm gonna be here forever. So what we, what we want to do first is connect with our patients and reassure them and, and, and inform them that this is likely to be just a part of their life and they will get through it and live a long, happy, good quality survival. I can't overemphasize how this program, you know, made all the difference in my positive outcome and in saving my life. When I first met Dr. Roy Abendroth at CPMC Radiation Oncology, he didn't make me take my clothes off. He thinks that's hysterical. But I said, <laughs> it's one of the things that sticks out in my mind is that you met me as a human being. You know, I didn't have a hospital gown on. We talked for quite a long time, and it made all the difference in the world. Here at CPMC, your complete health picture is our number one priority. We treat the whole person, not just the disease. Radiation therapy, also called radiotherapy, has been used for cancer treatment for over a century, and the latest advances in technology make it safer and more precise than ever before. We have the latest technology. Everything is computerized, automated, and allows us to treat uh, the tumors more accurately, but at the same time, minimize damage to the surrounding tissues. So with this combination, we're able to give patients much more accurate treatments and minimize the side effects. The treatment uses high energy x-rays to kill malignant cells and stop them from growing and multiplying. There are two types of radiotherapy. Most cancer patients get external beam radiation therapy. Here a device called a linear accelerator focuses tight beams of high energy x-rays on a precisely targeted part of your body to kill cancer cells while sparing surrounding tissue. The uh, machinery is incredibly sophisticated and you really have to just trust it to do the things they say it'll do. They can jump your salivary glands. My understanding is that these beams are shaped and guided and they have a physicist on staff, a PhD physicist, and he figures out how to make the beam stop. External beam radiotherapy itself is painless and is an outpatient procedure. Some cancers are harder to reach safely with external beams and are better treated with brachytherapy radioactive seeds planted directly into the cancer. So we're able to treat most tumor sites with brachytherapy. Uh, we have the latest brachytherapy technologies and I'm quite proud to be part of that. The seeds emit a low radiation dosage over a long period, or higher doses, HDR, when implanted for shorter periods. This treatment spares nearby organs from the high radiation doses that external beams may deliver. Brachytherapy HDR may require a hospital stay of two to three days. At CPMC, I think we have a, a, a great crew. We have many doctors and other staff who have been here for, for many years, and the Experience, I think, is very helpful, both in terms of the technical side, but perhaps more important for the, the experience of taking care of patients and having the, the personal interaction with the patients. And hardly a day goes by that I don't hear a patient compliment us on how superior our, our staff is and how great they are. The staff in 
the radiation oncology department is warm, friendly, and they make you feel like you're part of their family. Every patient who comes through really feels very comfortable, very happy with the group. Your treatment team works with you to manage every aspect of your care for the course of your therapy. Your doctor is a radiation oncologist, a specialist in radiotherapy who will care for you during your treatment. The radiation oncologist determines the exact area and number of your treatments and will meet with you at least once a week to discuss the benefits, side effects, and any risks involved in your treatment. It's important for the physician and the patient to understand what the goals of treatment are. What do we expect to accomplish? Is the goal to minimize the risk for recurrence and improve the chances for long-term survival without cancer? Or is the goal to, to make the person's quality of life better, to alleviate pain or some suffering? And those goals need to be clear. The physician needs to be clear about it. The patient and patient's family members and loved ones need to be clear about what we expect to accomplish. As soon as possible after going through all this, I wanted to get back to work, you know, it would be a sign of being healthy. And um, I didn't have any way of knowing how long I would be, you know, back to normal, be myself, feel healthy and all the rest. But I was feeling pretty good and um, I actually had an opportunity to play at the Fillmore Street Jazz Festival on 4th of July. Um, and I was wondering whether I should take that gig or not and I decided to go ahead and take it and it went really, really well. Your doctor also works closely with your team to monitor your health and treatment progress. At the nurse's desk, you'll find a trained and certified radiation oncology nurse who can explain your treatment course and help you manage any side effects. The nurse also works with your doctor to monitor your health during your therapy and refers you to the right members of your team with any concerns you may have. Your radiation therapist works closely with your doctor and your treatment team. The therapist schedules your treatment visits, carefully positions you for your radiotherapy, and operates the equipment during your treatment sessions. Your dosimetrist is a technical specialist who works with your doctor to create your therapy plan and calculates the exact dosage of radiation for your treatments. The physicist oversees the quality control of your treatment plan and ensures that the clinic's technology is state-of-the-art and working perfectly. Psychosocial support is available to help you and your family cope with emotional, social, or job-related problems you may encounter during your treatment course. Psychosocial services will also guide you to resources and services when your therapy is finished. The dietitian, provided in conjunction with the Community Health Resource Center, counsels you about healthy food choices to manage your symptoms during therapy. When you come in for your treatment, the receptionist will take care of your insurance information and medical records. You'll also meet patient navigators who address each patient's individual needs by providing health coordinating appointments, communication assistance, education materials, transportation resources, support service referrals, wayfinding assistance, and referrals to the wellness team for supportive care. During and after your radiotherapy, you may also visit CPMC's Institute for Health and Healing, which provides many services, including a physician-directed integrative medicine clinic, massage, skin, and body work, classes from meditation to yoga, guided imagery, lifestyle consultation, and spiritual care. As you might imagine, given the specialists on your team, radiation therapy is a very precise, technical process with many steps. At that first appointment, your radiation oncologist will review your health records and test results, and the two of you will talk about treatment goals and the best procedures for reaching them. In the care of any patient, it requires a village, if you will. It requires the whole medical team, and that's not just the physician, that's the nurse, that's the secretary, that's the people behind the scenes that you may not see, the dosimetrist and the physicist. There are other physicians on the team and other nurses on the team, but really most important is the patient and patient's family members, loved ones, friends, advocates, 
It's very important that that team understand what the goals are and feel like they're participating and involved in the process. That way everybody gets better. You'll discuss the number of treatments and potential side effects. If radiation therapy is the best choice for you, the oncologist will schedule a treatment planning session. You may have to come in for an additional evaluation if you have hormone therapy, chemotherapy, or surgery before your radiation course. Before you begin radiotherapy, you'll have one to three sessions, about an hour each, with the radiation oncologist and radiation therapist to map the exact area or field of your body where the radiation will be focused. During this treatment planning, you'll have a CT scan to determine the precise location of the cancer. Your radiation oncologist will decide if additional scans are needed. Your radiotherapy team will also take measurements of your body for therapy calculations, draw temporary mapping lines and two to five permanent tattoo dots on your skin as reference points for your treatment field. They'll also take photographs of this therapy setup to provide accurate documentation for your daily treatment. Your therapist will use the temporary markers to align you with the machines for treatment. Now, most of the time, you may wash them off with an alcohol solution before leaving the clinic. If your treatment is complex, you may need to leave these markers on. They may come off on your clothing, however, so dress accordingly for your therapy. Your team may also make immobilizing devices to keep you still during treatment. In some cases, radiation therapy may take up to 40 minutes. Your treatment may require a second simulation called a plan verify. This is to double check your treatment plan before starting your actual radiotherapy. Your first treatment session will be about an hour longer than your remaining sessions because your radiation therapist will take x-rays called port films to make sure you are accurately aligned with the radiation machine. <laughs> Allow time to talk with your nurse after your appointment about skin care and possible treatment side effects. Now you'll begin your regular four to eight week radiotherapy course. Your appointments will be about 30 minutes each but you should arrive a little early to change into a hospital gown for your treatment. The treatments themselves take about 15 minutes a day and are scheduled four or five times a week, Monday through Friday, between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Schedule your appointments for the same time each day, unless you have an urgent conflict, and always contact your radiation therapist if you can't make an appointment. Once a week, allow an extra 10 minutes during your treatment for your therapist to take x-rays to verify your treatment is still on target. And once a week, plan to take time after your therapy to meet with your radiation oncologist to discuss any concerns or questions. As your therapy continues, you may experience some side effects. These are usually temporary and go away when your treatment ends. Side effects differ by patient and are usually limited to the treatment site. Most patients can expect to feel some fatigue and notice some skin reaction at the treatment site. Consult your doctor, nurse, or radiation therapist about skin care. They can also tell you more about the side effects of your particular treatment, and you should report any side effects to them as soon as possible. To get the most out of your radiation therapy and reduce side effects like fatigue, you need to take good care of yourself during your treatment. Talk to your dietitian about eating right during your treatment course and ask your doctor, nurse, or radiation therapist what types of exercise might work best for your therapy. Pace your activities to ease your daily stress. At the end of your treatment course, you and your radiation oncologist will discuss any follow-up appointments needed to monitor your progress after your radiotherapy. Radiation therapy is a very effective tool in treating and curing cancer, and your CPMC team remains committed to your continued health as you look to the future. All of our patients are very important, and all of them deserve the best care we can provide. And that means providing state-of-the-art medical care, the latest in technology, but also a human touch. And that means a connection. And we try to establish that from the very first visit. It's really clear to me that my strong feelings of positive feelings about the program at CPMC are based in that it was an incredible struggle. 
I would not have made it through that struggle in nearly as good a shape as I am if I had not had the human side to the whole process. It's an enormous machine. These are highly technical, sophisticated practitioners, and they're good people. It's, it's made me a stronger person, I think. Uh, the treatment that I went through and the way I was treated. I guess that is the biggest thing for me, is it's not just the treatment, but the way I was treated.